cut myself a Pidgey. Oh, hello there. I did not see you. As you could probably guess, I have jumped on the latest craze, Pokemon Go. And to be honest, I am very surprised on how much fun this game is. See, I was never a Pokemon fan. Not really. I enjoyed the anime and the manga. And, you know, but I never got into the games. The grinding, you know, the constant wandering around, the idea of having to be careful when you walk through tall grass, all of that jazz was just not for me. Plus, the turn-based combat just did not really suit my style. The game I really got into was Monster Rancher. Now, that was a fun game. However, Pokemon Go, this is something that's pretty interesting. Not because it's Pokemon. I mean, that part is, like, very much the main reason why a lot of people download it. But the fact that you could just wander around and find creatures in the real world, that is the cool part. Me, I love collecting things. And there's nothing I enjoy more than wandering around my neighborhood looking for these Pokemon characters. And it brings back a lot of memories, because I said I loved the anime. And when you see a little shadow shows up, it just reminds me of, who's that Pokemon? So, I've been playing this for a week now, and it's quite fun, especially here in Vegas. We have so many landmarks that you cannot go a block without getting tons and tons of items, and there are gems everywhere. It is not very uncommon for me to wander around and see a gym under attack. That is really cool to watch. Myself, I have a gym two blocks up from where I live, and every day I go over there and take it back under control. But the thing that got me recently was not the popularity. I mean, it's Pokemon. Of course it's going to be popular, but it's not going to be popular to this spectrum, this, this massive, like, overtaking of not just social media, but literally the whole country and soon the world. It's going to be released in 200 different countries. Today it got released, I believe, in 26 more countries. It got released in the UK finally, Germany and all that. And it is blowing everyone's expectations. It's blowing everyone's minds. And it's hard to imagine this app dominating literally the world. It has beaten out Tinder. It has beaten out Facebook, Snapchat, Pornhub. You, I cannot stress just how bloody amazing it is that Pokemon Go has taken over the world. Literally. This reminds me of back in 1980, you know, 1983, 86, in that era, when Nintendo ruled the world. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing a Nintendo commercial, they had Nintendo cereal. Hell, Nintendo was even in Ghostbusters 2. So this is very much akin to when Nintendo ruled the late 80s, early 90s, and now Pokemon is dominating the late, um, what is it, where are we, yeah, mid-2016. It, it boggles the mind. And you have to wonder, why is it so good? I mean, when you break it down, all you're basically doing is throwing virtual balls at little creatures, like these little cartoony creatures that have been superimposed on the real world. I mean, it's very basic, very simple, and yet it is so popular. And one of the reasons I believe it's so popular, and this is going past the fact that this is Pokemon, is because for one of the very first times in recent memory, the advertisements for the game is actually happening in the real world. I mean, do you guys remember the Discover Pokemon trailer where it shows several people all around the world hunting Pokemon down, grabbing their Pokeballs and throwing them down, and you have some people who are trading, and then you have some people who are battling each other, and then at the end of the trailer, in what was one of the coolest scenes ever, they had Mewtwo show up at Times Square, and hundreds and hundreds of people come together to battle Mewtwo, to try to capture him, and everyone's celebrating, and according to the commercial, this would bring complete strangers together. People, they would never even talk to each other, or binding together, they're playing together, they're becoming friends, and they're battling one another as rivals, but not in a mean way, more like, hey, I want to take over your gym, and hey, that's, you can try, but I'll take it back, just wait, you know, one of those situations. That's what the commercial showed, and it's happening. Like, it's legitimately 
happening. This game is bringing people together. Every day you look at the news and there are just hundreds upon hundreds of stories of Pokemon Go players who are just talking about how they've met people, how they've gone to groups, they go to the park and there's other Pokemon Go players, they start hanging out and they become friends. There are stories of guys meeting girls and they start dating. Restaurants have been giving discounts, T-Mobile, Sprint, they're giving huge discounts for unlimited data for the Pokemon Go app. It's the world is responding just like the commercial. It's actually doing what it's advertised. Yes, the commercial shows, you know, higher look, you know, higher resolution graphics and it shows menu options that are not quite in the game yet like trading and all that. But the fact is the commercial focuses on bringing people together. And it's happening. And the reason I'm even doing this video because I wasn't really going to talk about Pokemon Go, I was just going to sit back and enjoy it, was recently footage came up of a massive crowd of people. I'm talking about over 50 people rushing through Central Park in New York City to catch, I think it was a Vaporeon. Yeah, the water type of Eevee, Vaporeon. Apparently, all the people in Central Park are playing Pokemon Go, and a Vaporeon spawned somewhere and suddenly you have this massive group of people moving through the park and they're cheering and they're yelling to each other and they're saying over here there's a Vaporeon over there and people are getting out of their cars like they're parking and rushing out of their cars to get to the spot where this Vaporeon is and when I saw that I'm like oh my god the commercial came true this whole Times Square moment where everyone was chasing Mewtwo. This actually happened. Can you believe that? This game brought hundreds of people together in Central Park to capture a virtual animal. And I know there's a lot of people on the internet right now, all these haters and naysayers and skeptics saying, this is pathetic, they're saving their virgin cards. You know, there's always going to be this, this group of people who just really hate on it. But it brought these people together. They're having fun. These people who never probably associated with each other in the real world came together for their love of this game to have fun. And, you know, I've been to conventions and I've been to game openings and game releases where everyone's in line. We all have the same interest. We start talking and you make friends. It's a really cool experience, but it's small. It's limited. This is a nationwide phenomenon. And currently, it doesn't look like it's slowing down, especially now that businesses are getting in on it. You're seeing people giving discounts depending on what team you are. You see people say, hey, if you bring proof that you put this lure here, we'll give you $3 off, $5 off. I saw tweets from Red Robin saying, bring us your Pokedex, get $3 off your meal over 10 bucks. It's, it, it's hard for me to articulate my surprise but the fact is it's a good game and with the updates coming up where we will be able to train where we can fight each other supposedly join teams like actually create our own little like friend groups it's going to keep getting bigger now the question is will this be a slow burn will this be a huge thing that lasts for a few months and then sizzles out we don't know I would like to think it will be long lasting because right now the plus the pros outweigh the cons. Yes, there are problems going on. Some people say you had those two guys, for example, in California who fell off the cliff. No one seriously injured. Thankfully, you got the girl who got hit by the car and she blames the game despite everyone knowing she should have been watching where she goes. And on the beginning of the game, they even tells you to do that. Keep your eyes on your environment. Yes, there's a lot of negativity that comes up from this, and there's some stupid people out there who don't use common sense, and they end up getting hurt. And then you got those who want to take advantage. You hear about phone thieves and people who are starting fights over this. But in the grand scale of things, those are really small compared to how many people are enjoying themselves. And that's great. So... 
My opinion on the game is as long as they keep the updates going, if they keep things fun, this could actually last maybe a full year. Mobile games have a very low you know, shelf expectancy. People play them. After a while, they get bored of it. You know, that happened to me. I played uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper, for example, for like maybe six months before it finally started to die out in my interest. And I really hope this Pokemon Go thing goes on. For me personally, there's a few issues I have. We all know about the server, the connectivity issues. That's fine. I mean, we all know it's going to get fixed eventually. I don't think the guys at Niantic realized it would be so popular. I mean, I knew that they probably knew it was going to be big, but not this big. And we have a few crashes, and GPS is not always accurate. You know, sometimes my character will be here and then jump over there. But... Overall, the game is a lot of fun, and I have my own personal stories going up about people I've ran into. Like, I'll just give you a brief one right now. I was at my senior center, which is the gym for me, and I was battling and battling and battling, trying to whittle this gym down so I could take it over. And about three or four 16-year-olds show up. They sit on the bench across from where I'm parked my car. And they start battling. I see their little Pokemon jumping into the battle. And I'm watching them, and they're watching me, and we're all waving and everything. And finally, we, I get the Pokemon gym to gray. I heal up my strongest character so I can take it over. And one of those kids swooped in and took it for their team. Their team yellow, I'm team red. And I rolled down my window of my car, and I shouted at them. Oh, this is all playful. I was like, which one of you guys had the nerve to take my gym out from under me and two of them went they're all proud of themselves and one of their friends the, the third one of their group was also team valor so he said don't worry let's take it back for us so we laughed and we got in the gym and we destroyed those two guys and we took them for team red and there was no negativity there was no anger it was all in good fun we were all laughing and, you know, uh, the Team Instinct kids were like, we'll get you guys next time. And I told them, you know, bring it. And we laughed and I waved and, you know, I went on my way and they went on theirs. And, you know, that, that's cool. You know, I don't have many video games in my life where I can actually interact with people like that in a real world setting. And it's fun. It's fun stories. So, overall, I think this game is a great idea it's a great fad and it is a fad it might die out it might not but either way right now let's just sit back and enjoy the ride you know businesses are booming people are selling pokemon gym badges now online it's, it's like an economy booster like all these pokemon fans are building vests and badges and suspenders and team valor and team instinct and team mystic all these cool things and they're selling them on etsy they're selling them on the Facebook. They're selling them in person. I saw a photo of some group of kids who brought sodas and waters, and they were selling them for like 50 cents each at a Pokestop. So when people were coming in, people were buying it from them. I mean, that's great. It's, it's inspiring people to go outside, to be creative, to meet new friends. And despite how like little the game really is, when you really look at it, it's a little game, you can't replicate this kind of experience. And that's what makes Pokemon Go special to me. That's basically all I wanted to say, you know. I just wanted to sit down with everybody and share my opinion and basically talk about how this game, this game that came out in 97, I believe it was, because I think it was a freshman high school when this came out, how this game has come back on a scale we've never seen before. Yes, we all hear about huge pre-orders and sales for Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, things like that. But we've never seen this. We've never, ever seen this. And that is something that I think is worth talking about. So please take a moment to tell me your stories. Tell me your stories. That's the big thing. I want to hear about your experiences with Pokemon Go. I want you to tell me the good, the bad. If you've seen any businesses that are promoting it, tell me that also. And if you have video links talking about this, please put in the comments. I would love to watch your videos about Pokemon Go. And I just want to know your experiences with the game. So thank you for listening to this little rant discussion. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, 
And please stay tuned. We do have another WTF Games You've Never Played coming down where we finish up the Lynx Atari lineup. I've been doing several videos on the Lynx Atari, and now we're going to do a compilation of uh, many of the games I already own and put an end to the Lynx Atari videos before moving on to the next great crazy game that I can get my hands on. So, my name is Mazer. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for sitting through this rant. Please join the discussion below, and I will see you next time. And remember, gotta catch them all. Pokemon.